People are asking, it goes from the birds now to the cows? Can it go from the cows to the eggs? From the cows to the milk? You won't believe what the hot topic in the news is now. Bird flu is a virus that occurs naturally in wild birds that also spread to livestock, poultry. Human to human transmission of bird flu is very rare. Got new news on that. Many people worried with a 30% off rate. This potentially could turn into the next pandemic, which would make the last one look like just a warm up. Now I remember when they were saying that people couldn't get this. Now we got this. A person in Texas is being treated for the highly contagious bird flu. That's according to the Texas Department of State Health Services. It's the first human case of the disease in the state and the second in the U.S. The CDC confirms the patient had direct contact with infected dairy cows. That person was instructed to isolate and is being treated with an antiviral drug for the flu. At this time, the CDC believes the health risk to the public is low. The Health Department of Texas said it's extremely rare for bird flu to spread from person to person. Now, if you know anything about how contagious this is and the mortality rate, you know what they do to millions and millions of chickens when they find even one bird with this. I used to hear that humans didn't have to worry about this. We're getting red alerts now. Texas has somebody that has gotten the bird flu from cattle. Trust me, this has got everyone's attention. The WHO, White House released a statement saying they got the best scientists on this right now. We have a health alert in our state tonight. Texas health officials confirmed the first case of bird flu in a person in our state. The officials believe that patient was exposed to an infected dairy cow. This is the second reported case in the U.S. The strain of bird flu started infecting cattle in the panhandle last week, according to authorities. The U.S. Department of Agriculture assures Americans that commercial milk supply should not be affected by this outbreak. And that's the buzz. Could you get it in milk? Potential big deal that you probably should know about coming right up. My name is Cohen here at Riverside Homestead and if you're brand new here, welcome. If you guys are into prepping tips, emergency preparedness, and most of all, news and awareness, stuff that you wanna know about, be sure to hit that notification bell so you guys can stay up to date. Let's jump into this one. All right, look guys, the reason I picked this one is there's definitely something fishy going on and we're gonna get into that. But I need to ask you more than ever, remember to hit the like button, make sure you're still subscribed and getting notifications. And if you find value, please share this out. Really helps out the channel because they're really cracking down on us lately. And guys like us, we need all the help we can get from people like you. Now look, we've got Russia issuing a major warning. Russia swings towards mass vaccination against bird flu. So all of a sudden, something that shouldn't have been a concern to humans is all of a sudden a huge concern. Could it have something to do with China records world's first human death from H3N8 bird flu, the WHO says? And that's coming from Reuters. Normally I say Reuters and you always always give me a hard time on that. But I mean, like, look at the word. Doesn't it look like it would be pronounced Reuters? Maybe someone can explain that to me down in the comments. But no joke, this article is from 2023. Beijing, April 12th from Reuters. A Chinese woman has become the first person to die from type of bird flu that is rare in humans, the WHO said but the strain does not appear to spread between people. Now, how much do we believe that? Because now we've got people getting it in the United States. Look, a huge worrisome scare right now about this is if this does evolve, change magically, and this continues to be a problem in people, you think the last pandemic issue was bad? Like I said, 30% mortality rate. That means projectively going into 2025 could never look the same as we knew it before. And we say this because, well, a lot of people think that they're messing around with all this stuff. And that's why this stuff's coming out of thin air. That's how it's changing. Did a couple videos on the mosquito stuff. Like if it's not one thing, it's gonna be another. And a lot of people that project a lot of things are sniffing out another pandemic on the rise. And I'm just saying, if it's this, this could be really, really bad. People are asking, it goes from the birds now to the cows? Can it go from the cows to the eggs? From the cows to the milk? Some of you remember from 2022, there was another case in Colorado. Now there's a case in Texas. They're stating that it's rare. People shouldn't be alarmed. Yet you got Russia going full scale. And then in the warnings, if you have backyard chickens and you suspect it, they don't want you to touch it. So is this now going to a cow 
and a person getting it from a cow leading into something that could be catastrophic. Because some of you remember the report that was given out by the Russians a few years ago with them stating that there was laboratories in the United States working on the bird flu, making claims and having graphs and data saying that they wanted to infect the migratory birds, explaining that only certain people with certain circumstances of wealth or maybe obedience would be able to protect themselves with this strain getting to them or their livestock. Is that something that you guys think could carry some truth? Put it in the comments. Just another reason why we stay aware. Emergency preparedness, be ready for what we can be ready for. You guys have been watching Riverside Homestead Life for a while now. You know we've got a lot of our earlier videos, how to's, how to be prepared. You don't have to be chalked up to a prepper these days. Have a sense of emergency preparedness. It could be as little as a severe storm, power outage, food shortage of some sort. Being able to take care of you and your family for a short-term emergency is something that I would say everyone should be on top of. So real quick, we'll go over this Washington Post article over this and you'll see what their perspective is. We'll get a lot of questions answered. Can humans catch the bird flu? What are the symptoms? Is there a vaccination for humans? Can bird flu kill humans? And most importantly, could the bird flu become the next pandemic? And some people ask me, can your dogs get it? We'll go over that. And should you be worried about eating chicken or eggs in regards to the bird flu? And I think that that's something that everyone's concerned about. Are we going to get it from the dairy? Are we going to get it from the chickens, the cows, the poultry? Can we get it just from consuming what we normally consume? After a dairy worker in Texas was infected with the highly pathogenic strain of bird flu, disease trackers worry the recent outbreak among cattle could develop into a larger threat. And look guys, if you made it this far in the video, I'm not trying to promote fear. I'm trying to promote awareness because based off of what happened a while back, the last pandemic, we need to be aware for the next thing to happen. Now they say the risk to the general public remains low, but experts are concerned about the possibility of H5N1 virus evolving and more easily spreading from birds to other mammals. So with that, we're gonna go over some of these questions regarding the bird flu, its symptoms and treatment, and the risks to humans and pets. Some of you guys know how big of a deal is. 82 million commercial poultry and backyard flocks since early 2022. And you've heard about the culling of all these farms. 82 million people. You don't think that this could turn into a really big deal? Now pay attention. Can humans catch the bird flu? It is rare, but humans can become infected with bird flu if they come into close contact with infected birds. Whether the birds are dead or alive or with surfaces that have been contaminated by an infected bird's saliva or feces. So it's it's rare, but apparently all we gotta do is touch them. And how does that transcribe over to the cattle getting them and people dealing with cattle? Lots of questions, let's keep going. Also important to know that wild animals such as red foxes, raccoons, opossums, and skunks, probably from eating infected wild birds, apparently also affected. Side note, remember, as rare as this is, they keep talking about it evolving. Keep that one in the back of your mind. Also something very interesting that comes with a word you've heard before. In those circumstances, the virus can initiate an infection in an occasional human and quickly develop into influenza pneumonia, in which the fatality rate is very high. Does that sound like something else that we've dealt with? Now, how is it treated? People who contract the bird flu are typically treated with supportive care and serious cases with ventilators. Stay away from the ventilators. You know what happens when you get on the ventilator? I mean, just saying, we all know, right? There are also a trivial medications that are effective and treating the current strains, the Schaffner guy said. There's always a vaccine, right? Yep, and there is vaccines for humans. Yes, there are vaccines for the bird flu, but they would need to be tested to see if they're a match for the specific strain. Vaccine manufacturing would then need to be scaled up and mass produced. Now, if you're anything like me, I just read a bunch of trigger words. Lots of more testing. They need to make probably some new ones and they would need to scale up mass production. Wonder how much that's gonna cost us. And guess who gets filthy rich off of that? The article also says, can the bird flu kill humans? Yes, it can be fatal. Mainly when the virus gets into the lungs and causes influenza pneumonia. But again, they say it's rare, but don't touch any of the birds. 
and maybe don't touch the cows. Big numbers already. According to the WHO, between January 2003 and February of 2024, there were 887 laboratory confirmed cases of the human infection with the H5N1 reported globally from 23 different countries. Of those who were infected, there were 462 deaths. 887 confirmed cases and 462 deaths. Do you see how this could be a very, very bad thing? And I think this is where all the big worries coming from because if this thing does continue to evolve, continues to infect humans, then we question the next part on this article, could the bird flu become the next pandemic? Each time there's a highly pathogenic avian influenza outbreak, it triggers concerns that the virus could mature into affecting humans more readily and start spreading from person to person. So this is a real concern. Such a pandemic cannot be predicted because this exchange of genetic material is a random event. It's random. Couple more topics. Can your dogs get it? And is there any impact to the dairy supply, eggs, etc.? Can dogs and cats catch the bird flu? Dogs have contracted avian influenza strains in the past, said Carol Cardona chair and avian health at the university of minnesota but because the family dog or cat is not typically in contact with infected birds like wild animals are their risk is low she said so i think it's just like the raccoons and the skunks and everything else like they come in in contact with a dead bird in the backyard sounds like that's all it's gonna take another big question on the ballot can you get bird flu from eating chicken or eggs no humans cannot become infected by eating eggs or fully cooked poultry. However, according to the CDC, uncooked poultry and poultry products like blood could have been the source of a small number of bird flu virus infections in people in South Asia. Do we need to change the answer, guys? You cannot get it from eating eggs or chicken. But if it's not fully cooked, you can. So look, it's looking real questionable. Like they say one thing and then they say another. I'm sure you guys are picking that up. Another thing that some of you guys are wondering about, what about my backyard chickens? And this is another one I wanted to read to you because it's very interesting how they put it. People who own their own chickens should be vigilant, experts say. Backyard chickens could come into contact with wild birds either directly or through their bodily secretions putting them at risk for potentially infection. Experts recommend keeping your backyard chickens inside a closure to keep them away from any migratory birds that may be carrying the disease. Now, chickens that become infected may become unusually quiet, stop producing eggs, or produce fewer of them, developing a respiratory symptom and diarrhea before they start dying. This is the kicker right here. People who have backyard chickens should take precautions and avoid touching infected chickens or their eggs or contaminated surfaces experts said so the way that i take that is you can't even touch a chicken so you see what i'm saying you can't get it from the eggs or the poultry meat but wait you need to cook it fully you can't get it from milk but wait you got to make sure it's pasteurized and you can't get it from your backyard chickens as long as you don't touch them because if one's acting lazy or has the runs it could have the burn flu. And then just by touching it seems to present an issue. I seriously read these articles and I just shake my head because I read one thing and I'm thinking at the same time. That's the problem I'm thinking. Thinking presents understanding that two things are being said. Nothing that they're claiming really ever really makes sense. So don't know what to say. All I know is that people are getting it now. The mortality rate in this, if it got really, really bad, would be very, very, very bad. A lot of buzz on this potentially being the next pandemic. We don't know. Just another thing to keep on y'all's radar. Please share this out if you'd like to make more people aware about it. Give me your two cents. You guys want to learn about the mosquitoes right up there. You want to watch another video that they probably don't want you to watch. Watch that one right there. We'll see you guys on the next one.